There is a lot of British memorabilia in this video. What the sh Hello there! As you can see by my obviously wizardy outfit comprised of a cape and glasses. Also, I don't actually have a wand, but here's an 11th Doctor screwdriver that my friend Madeline bought me. Today's video is going to be about Harry Potter! But I figure everyone can make a video about Harry Potter. So this is my original take on Harry Potter. Instead of telling you guys reasons that I love Harry Potter, I'm going to tell you my Harry Potter related secrets. So, enemies of the air beware, and welcome to my chamber of secrets. Meant of course in a totally non-phallic way because this is just a video about secrets that I have that relate to Harry Potter. Secret number one. If you've seen enough of my videos, you'll realize that I'm an incredibly avid reader. And of course the one question I'm always asked by people that know me is, so have you read Harry Potter? And the answer is no. Well, kind of. One of my best friends in the entire world is addicted to Harry Potter. She's read all the books like three times through and she's memorized everything and she's delved into the symbolism of it with me and blah blah blah. And last summer she was getting really on my case about not having read Harry Potter. So to appease her I read book one. And of course I really liked it. But because I was just doing it to appease her I hadn't actually packed books two or three to follow it up with. But so then after I got home from my vacation there were some other books that I wanted to read and I kind of got sidetracked and I didn't end up reading book two until this summer. And of course because I'm a dumbass, I didn't pack books three or four to follow that up with. So as of today, August 23rd, I have only read two of the Harry Potter books. Secret number two. So of course, since I haven't read all the books, I of course haven't seen all of the movies. The last movie that I've seen the entire way through is Goblet of Fire. Secret number three. Part of the reason that I haven't seen past movie four is because I had a hugely traumatic experience when I saw it in theaters. This part's gonna be real full of spoilers if you haven't seen movie four or read book four, so if you don't want to see the spoilers just skip ahead until I stop talking about it. So Harry has come back with Cedric with the Goblet of Fire and they're laying in the pit after completing the final challenge. Everybody is cheering and celebrating and Harry is sobbing over the body of Cedric on the ground. Finally, after a few awkward minutes, everyone starts to realize that Harry's crying and they go, WTF bro, what's up? You just won the Goblet of Fire and everything is awesome. And then Harry looks up deep into Dumbledore's eyes and says, <laughs> he's back, Voldemort's back. And all of the power went out in the theater. I freaked. Out. That movie came out at a time when I was incredibly young and impressionable. And so to sit there in the theater and have Harry Potter say, Voldemort's back! And then have all of the power go out in the entire building was a fairly traumatic experience. The Goblet of Fire came out seven years ago, which means that I was about ten years old. And I've only just recently become able to watch that movie all the way through beginning to end without freaking out after Harry goes, Voldemort's back. I'm very easily traumatized. Secret number four. I once had an entire conversation entirely in parcel tongue. It kind of sounded like this. Secret number five. Look, I made a five instead of doing it on one hand. Also last summer, I got the opportunity to go to London. And while there, of course, I went to King's Cross Station because I had to catch a train. And I didn't get to see Platform 9 and 3 quarters. <laughs> I bet you thought that I was going to say that I did get to see it, but I didn't. A bunch of my friends did though, and they took pictures standing with the cart posing outside of it and blah blah blah. Also, side note, bet you didn't know that Platform 9 and 3 quarters was a real thing, did you? The more you know. And finally, secret number six. I got to see the actual Hogwarts Express last summer. Like the actual train that was used in the movie was just parked in this train yard and the train that we were on went past it and everyone was like, look, it's the Hogwarts Express! And of course, because I had just read the first book, I was like, oh my God, the Hogwarts Express! But of course, because I'm dumb, I had forgotten my camera charger back in Canada because it's in like Britain somewhere. <laughs> I had forgotten my camera charger back in Canada, so my camera died while I was in London, which means that I didn't get a picture of the Hogwarts Express! So there you have it. Six of my deepest, darkest, 
stupidest Harry Potter related secrets. I know that being the only member of the Harry Potter generation that hasn't actually read Harry Potter is probably going to lower your opinion of me, but please try not to let it, let it lower it too much because I'm still funny and I'm pretty and cute, so you should love me anyway. If you have any Harry Potter related secrets, I want to hear about them. Leave a comment below with your Harry Potter related secret. Make me feel less bad about myself. I love you, bye! Dum da dum 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 da dum 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 dum